Welcome back to the Sorrow Assist YouTube channel. Adam here and today I've got another end of season sale video for you guys looking at some top targets in the Argentina and Mexican leagues. So make sure you stick around for that. Before that though, if you're new to the channel, please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel as well if you've not done so already. And if you've not signed up to Sura yet, there is a link in the description below if you did wish to do that. Okay, let's get straight stuck into it then. So as I say, the end of season sale is now on and today I'm going to be picking the top targets in the Argentinian and Mexican leagues. If you want early access to these videos, then join my Patreon or by becoming a member of this YouTube channel by clicking that join button below. None of this content is financial advice and always do your own research. Okay, let's kick off then. I'm going to be starting with goalkeepers, then moving on to defenders. I'll also be highlighting some midfielders as well. This is part one of the video. So in part two, I'll be highlighting the rest of the midfielders and also the forwards. Okay, let's get straight stuck into it then, guys. And let's have a look at the first goalkeeper that I've gone for. So the first one I've gone for is Lucas Hoyes of Velez. He has an L15 of 48 and an L40 of 49, which is fantastic for a goalkeeper. If you look at his price around this time, 1,832 here for a direct offer. 1,620 here on auction. At the moment, we're getting some offers of around with a 1,000 mark, as you can see. 1,000. So that's a big reduction there of around £600. So potentially, you could get an offer except potentially for Hoyos. Next goalkeeper we've gone for is Camilla Vargas of Atlas. L15 of 52 and an L40 of 40. Price graph was, was looking at an auction sale here for £1,576 just back in February. Recent auction is sold for £771. So as you can see that is a very big reduction on Camilla Vargas. His scores have not really changed as well as you can see he's got consistently good scores in the 50 odd range. Next up we've got Esteban Andrada of Monterrey in the Mexican League. He's got an L15 of 48 and an L40 of 51. In terms of his price over the last six months there's not much data to go off but he was going for around 1320 that was the direct offers anyway and, it, and this was around February and January time. At the moment there's a floor price of £863 currently on the market at the time of recording. This looks really cheap to me for a quality goalkeeper. Moving on to defenders now then, the first one is Jesus Angelo of Tigres in the Mexican League. He's got some fantastic L15 and L40 numbers here, 57 in his L15 and 57 in his L40. In terms of his price over the last six months, could see back here was getting direct offers for around £800 of managers to purchase this player. And now we're looking at around 400 490 500 So a three to five, three to £400 saving there on this player who's got some absolutely fantastic scores. Next up is Anderson Santa Maria, 30 year old who plays for Atlas in the Mexican League. L15 of 51 and L40 of 52. Price wise, we've got a 295 direct offer here. We've got one one nil auction for 282. This was just back in January. Another auction here in December of 300. Now, a recent auction sale was 155, and some direct offers coming in for around 117. As you can see, this is a big reduction for this defender who's got some quality averages on his SO5 scores. Another defender that's quality is Lataro Gianetti. Now this one, there is something to note on this, so if we're looking at his L5, you will notice that he's not played for quite some time. Now this is because he has got a very serious injury and he is going to be out for around 6 months. So that is something to bear in mind with this one. But he's only 28 and my guess is that when he comes back, he's going to be back to scoring these absolutely fantastic scores that you can see here. Absolutely brilliant player when he is playing. It's unfortunate that he has been injured. It's only recently happened. Like I say, he is going to be out for maybe six months. But if you're looking to plan long term, then you've potentially got a fantastic defender here in Giannati, who is actually the captain of Velez as well. So I'm sure they'll be hoping for a speedy recovery for the defender. Now, due to his injury and obviously the end of season as well approaching, this guy is obviously going to be very, very cheap currently on the market and this is probably the best time to buy if you was in the search for a, for a defender in the Argentina league. So let's have a look at his price graph then over the last six months. 
as you can see around this area here people are willing to offer around £1,270 for this guy £1,125 here on auction there's also one here of £1,221 on auction that was just back in February now at the moment there's offers coming in for 186 230 299 300 that sort of thing whether any of these have been accepted is another story and there's one here for an auction of a 1000 so as you can see his price was coming down this was due to the end of season sale i think this auction was probably before his injury so there's a possibility of maybe getting this guy at a very cheap price and if we also look at his limited card as you can see here as the argentina was a league was approaching it was going for around 291 for his limited which is absolutely insane and currently you can get and more recently his auction this is on the 10th of april so i don't know if this was near his injury he was picking up for around 93 and then there was some direct offers here for around 30 pound so that is a as you can see a very very big difference in his price for his limited back here in back here in middle of february 2022 so this could potentially be a very good purchase especially if he does recover from his injury and comes back for next season in the argentina league now another good option is leonardo morales of gymnasia la plata this is in the argentina premiership and he's a defender of course and he's got an l15 of 52 and an l40 of 56 so if we look at his six month graph Back here, people were willing to pay around £553 for this guy. £500 offer here. This was back in February. In a recent, in a recent auction, someone's picked up this guy for £180. So as you can see, that is a very big reduction in what people are prepared to offer around this period here, which is around £500. Another good defender is Lucas Villalba of Argentina Juniors. Only 27. It's got a fantastic L15 and L40 numbers. L15 of 57 and an L40 of 55. This looks really impressive to me. And looking at his six month graph, his highest price here was a direct offer of 619 for his rare. 500 here back in February. And also it was won on auction for 432 back in February as well. More recently, someone's picked him on auction for 330. That's a pretty decent saving from his price of 400 and odd. We've also had some direct offers of 300 pound. There was one on one on auction recently here as well for 298 on the 15th of April. So as you can see, this is a good reduction from the 400, probably around a 100 pound reduction for an absolutely quality defender who's getting consistently good scores. So another good option is Miguel Turen of Argentina Juniors. 33 year old he has an l15 of 53 and an l40 of 54 he's the current captain as well for argentina juniors and if we look at his price graph so six months ago people were snapping this guy up on auction for around 300 pound as you can see here this was just back in february and more recently someone's managed to pick up this guy on auction for 144 pound that to me if my maths is correct is a half price reduction there someone's also picked him up here luckily for 119 and that was just on the 15th of april as you can see this guy is going very cheap as i say he's the current captain of argentina juniors as well so this looks like a potential steal to me so the final player and defender for this week's video which is part one of this end of season sale is Mateos de los santos plays for Vilas, only 29 he has an l15 of 56 and an l40 of 54 which is extremely impressive now in terms of his price graph we'll look back here in an auction on in february it was going for around 640 pound and uh, there's also one for around 600 here on the end of feb now i've had some recent direct offers of around 300 pound here don't know if they're, they're, they've been accepted or not but we've also got an auction here as well of 395 as you can see this is a reduction in these auctions of 640 back here so it looks like another good saving on a, on a really good player who plays for Velez. So that was so that was all the selections for this week, part one of the end of season sale in the Argentina and Mexican leagues. I'm sure there's a few no players here that caught the eye. As I say, next week I'm going to be concentrating on the midfielders and the forwards as well. Okay, thanks for watching. If you did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron officer or assist for weekly player scouting. 
and early access to these scouting videos. And you could also get early access to the scouting videos by becoming a member of this YouTube channel. More information by clicking that join button below. And if you've not signed up to Survey yet, then sign up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.